praise the name of Jesus. I welcome you to a word from the Lord this Thursday night. And we are still looking at the keys, the keys to business exploit or success. I'd like to remind you that your association determines to a large extent your elevation in the business world, your associations. Therefore, your workers must be discreetly chosen. You must be detailed and deliberate about who to hire to work with you. If you bring a Jonah on board, you bring trouble on board. If you bring Judas on board, you are bringing betrayer on board. Don't let your employment be founded on family affiliation, but rather on competence, performance, above all things, faithfulness. A faithful man that's not competent can be trained to be competent. But an unfaithful man that is competent becomes a, 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 a competent a, a crook. Your association is important. Who are your associates? Who are your co-workers? If you have the burden of bad workers, they will slow down your progress. Even Jesus carefully chose the, the disciples that became apostles. And yet there was a degree of error of one out of 12. Please pay attention to those people that are working. Because they might not be working for you, they might be working against you without you knowing. Be discreet and be detailed. No Jonah will survive in your business. No Judas will survive in your ministry. No Jonah will survive in your business, else you will lose everything. Those who travel with Jonah, they lost everything. No Judas will, 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 uh, will succeed in your ministry because that is the doorway to betrayal and to disaster. I commend you to God and the word of his grace that the workforce around you shall be right ones in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, that's how far we can go. Don't forget that on Sunday, we have three services, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m., and in the evening, 5 p.m. Looking forward to see you at that great garden of God's people. Bye for now.